everyone, welcome back to Readeru Kids. My name is Miss Christy, and today I'm so excited to share another awesome book with you. If you're as excited as I am, be sure to give this video a thumbs up below. And don't forget to click subscribe. That way, every time we post a new story, you and I can read together again right away. All right, today's book is all the Night Before New Year's by Natasha Wing and illustrated by Amy Woomer. Let's get started. The Night Before New Year's by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Amy Woomer. Twas the last day of December, what we call New Year's Eve. A whole year had flown by. It was hard to believe. We were pretty excited, our puppy was too. We cheered out with the old and in with the new. Oh please, I begged, can we stay up till midnight? For this one special evening, my parents told us, all right. So we drove to the store to buy party supplies, hats, horns, and poppers, and sparkly bow ties. At night, we put up all the streamers and balloons, silver glitter and gold stars to twinkle up our rooms. A banner was hung by the ceiling with care in hopes that baby new year soon would be there. The banner says, happy new year. We gathered for dinner, a grand late night feast. All our family favorites, I ate three cupcakes at least. With a clink of our glasses, we all gave a toast, making New Year's resolutions my dad had the most. But I couldn't come up with one single vow. That's okay, said mom. You don't have to right now. After dinner was done, we played checkers and charades, then broke out the cards for a long game of spades. We shared fond memories. Oh, there were dozens. Holidays, camping trips, and new baby cousins. Our eyelids were droopy, so we ducked out for fresh air. When you're tired, fresh air can help wake you up. Then came in to watch the crowd lining Times Square. One more hour, said Dad, till the new year is here. Put on your hat, said Mom. Let's practice our cheer. Counting down from ten without a single mistake. We tooted horns and popped poppers. I was now wide awake. My brother chased our puppy all through the house. Then Mom and Dad noticed it was quiet as a mouse. There was no sound of barking, no little boy chatter. So we sprang from the couch to see what was the matter. Hmm, no sound, what does that mean? There they are. When what to our wondering eyes should appear but two party poopers. Ah, make that three now, oh dear. While our puppy curled up on my father's lap, my brother and I went upstairs for a five minute nap. He's looking pretty tired. We both soon were nestled all snug in our beds while visions of fireworks danced in our heads. The next thing I knew, it was sunny and bright. Rats, we missed ringing in the new year last night. They fell asleep before midnight. But that's when I came up with my resolution, I believe. I absolutely will stay up for next New Year's Eve. I loved reading with you today, and I hope that we can read together again soon. Don't forget that if you liked this book, to give it a thumbs up below and click on subscribe. That way, every time we post a new story, you'll get notified and we can read together again right away. If you'd like activities to go along with our books, you can head over to readaroukids.com. There, we do all kinds of fun things like science experiments, arts and crafts, 
We practice our math skills and reading skills, so come on over and see what we have this month. If you'd like to see what we're up to every day, you can follow us on all of our social media. Again, I loved reading with you today, and I hope that we can read together again soon. Until then, Readeroo loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.